Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use workspaces in Visual Studio Code. First of all, let's define what is a workspace. A workspace is basically just a collection of folders that will be shown here in the sidebar of VS Code. They are very useful whenever you want to group different projects together. Then you can have very fast access to them from the sidebar. Ok, let's create our first workspace. Let's go to File, Add Folder to Workspace. Let's open this Node GUI project. Let's go to File, Add Folder to Workspace again and let's add this Media Pipe project. Ok, so now we have opened uh, these uh, two folders in our workspace that is called Untitled. We can title our workspace by saving it. Let's go to File, Save Workspace As. Let's save it to the desktop and give it a name. Tutorial Workspace. Save it. Let's see what's inside that file. Let's open it with a text editor like Sublime Text. And as you can see, it's just a collection of paths to our folders, like I've said before. Let's go back to VS Code. And let's open some files from these folders. Let's open this readme file from the Node GUI project. And let's open some file from the Media Pipe project, this CC file. As you can see, uh, not much has changed in the UI of VS Code. The most important thing to note uh, is this path below the file names of our open files. Uh, the root of this path for our files is different. For this readme file, uh, the root folder is node GUI and for this CC file, the root folder is media pipe. Let's see how search works uh, in workspaces. Let's go to search and let's, for example, search for the tool keyword. And as you can see, the search uh, searches in both folders. And of course, you can open the files that contain the word tool and note the different uh, root folders for this file. Uh, in the Node GUI project and, for example, for this file in the Media Pipe project. In a similar way, source control works. So let's switch to our source control tab and, uh, as you can see, both folders use Git for its source control. And uh, the changes are tracked separately for the Media Pipe project and for the Node GUI project. Ok, let's see how tracking works. Uh, let's try to delete this dot from the cc file and uh, let's add a number 3 to the readme file. And as you can see, the changes are updated uh, accordingly in the sidebar. Of course, for each uh, file you can also stage changes, uh, you can revert changes and do other stuff with Git uh, for each of the projects. Last thing to add is that we can change settings for our workspace. Let's go to File, Preferences, Settings and here go to Workspace and let's for example change this Auto Save Delay to 900. Let's close this settings file. And let's see what changed in the our original code workspace file. Well, uh, the folder paths remain the same and the settings are added for the auto save delay. Okay, that would be all for this video. Please give it a like if you found it useful and consider subscribing if you like this kind of contact. Bye.